geology in a jiffy. What's in the bag? It's... Normal faults. Normal faults, also known as depth slip faults, are formed during extension, when a rock is stretched and made longer. If we take a layer of rock and stretch it, a fracture zone will appear as the rock stretches, but it will not simply snap like this. Instead, as the rocks are stretched and the fracture zone appears, one part of the rock tries to move downwards, which it eventually does so, moving downwards along a plane of movement, called the normal fault. This movement on either side of the fault displaces the layer at an angle of about 60 degrees. As the rock is stretched apart, Gravity forces part of the rock downwards, doing so down and along the fault plane, the other block moving upwards in relation to the moving block, forming a normal fault. The block that moves downwards is called the hanging wall, and the block that moves upwards is called the foot wall. Let's look at an example. If we study the normal fault in this cliff face, we can clearly see the fault plane about which the movement has occurred the hanging wall having moved downwards from the left to the right, and the foot wall having moved upwards to the left. Wow! However, if we study this cliff face in more detail, the geological history of the rocks here is more complex. There is not just one normal fault. If we look closely, there is one normal fault about which there is a lot of movement, but there are also several other smaller normal faults each block of rock having slid down past its neighbouring block. That's amazing! This quarry face also shows two clear normal faults, the hanging walls having slid downwards to the right. Please do watch our other Geology and a Jiffy videos about reverse faults, strike slip faults and transform faults. Please subscribe to my channel. Bye!